Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new career mode series. We are finally doing Wolves. It has been years since, you know, a lot of comments and a lot of people saying, can you do a Wolves career mode? And also, it's a career mode I've always wanted to do myself for, for many years now. So we're finally there. And I know it's kind of sad because the Hansa Rostock career mode didn't quite work out. Um, but it's okay, we're going to move on. I know we're back in England, but uh, this is going to be a really good fun series. I want it to be nice and relaxed. We're going to chill. I'm not going to simulate any games. That is my promise to you guys. That is one thing that I am not going to be doing in this series. It is a road to glory, although we're already, you know, pretty, we're pretty strong. You know, if you look at the squad, we're, we're probably going to do absolutely fine in the championship this first season. We'll probably get into the Premier League in one attempt. And from then on, it's a real road to glory in terms of winning the Champions League. That is the uh, the idea. Um, but when I say I want it to be relaxed, I just want it to be a really chill career mode. I want you guys to be able to watch really long episodes when you get home from school, work, whatever it may be. And um, yeah, let's just enjoy it. So also, what, what do I want from this series in terms of the, the team? Like, do I want to be going with Youth Academy players? Do I want to be signing English players? Do I want to go just out there and get anyone? Do I go with Portuguese players? Because a lot of Portuguese players have uh, flooded into the, the Wolves team over the last few years. Um, so just let me know in the comments. What do you want me to do with this team? How do you want me to build it? Um, I haven't watched too much of the championship this year. Um, but what I do know is Wolves are looking very good this year and they do play a very, very similar formation to what I used in the Arsenal career mode and what Arsenal use in real life. It's kind of a 3-4-3 or a 5-2-3. Really depends on if they've got the ball or not. So this is the team that I've put together so far. A lot of very good players. Uh, we have Jota, Hota, however you want to say his name. 78 rated, but unfortunately... He's only on loan, so I'm hoping at some point that we could bring him back to the club after the first season. Uh, we have Bernardini. He is also on loan, which is going to be a bit of an issue as well, because he is, I think, our only out-and-out -out striker, except from Wilson, who's 57 rated. So, yeah, we're definitely going to have to strengthen in that position at some point. We've got Cavaliero here. Thankfully, another Portuguese player, but isn't on loan. He is our player. Um, what I could do is potentially move him up front. Might be, a, might be an idea in the future. Now, this is where I think we're strongest at the moment. Our midfield, very, very good. We have Neves, the youngest ever player to captain a side in the Champions League, I believe, when he was playing at Porto. I mean, I've seen some of his, his highlights from this season so far in real life. He is incredible. His passing range, his, his work ethic, he's got such flair about him. I love him. So um, he's going to be potentially our future captain. I mean, current captain is Cody in defence. Um, and at 72 rated, he's absolutely fine. We, we have no need to replace him. But I'm thinking in the future, Neves will probably be our captain. Uh, we then have Sace. I'm probably saying that one wrong. He plays for Morocco. He's Moroccan. Plays a lot of different positions down the middle there. Um, and he could be really good next to Neves. So that's where I think we're strongest. In the defence, we have five at the back. That's what I'm going to be using at the start here. We've got Douglas, Bolly, Cody, Miranda and Doherty, and then in goal we have Ruddy, Premier League experienced goalkeeper, um, but at 72 rated, 30 years old, it's probably another position that we will need to improve relatively soon. Um, then on the bench, you know, this is the first team I've gone with based off, you know, their stats that I feel is the strongest team, but actually I think the only player that isn't in this first team in real life um, is Miranda. I don't think he plays as much as, where is he... Bennett. He was, I think, the more popular centre-back choice for, for Wolves so far this season in that position, but Miranda looks a bit better. Uh, we have Bath, uh, Vinegre, <laughs> it sounds like vinegar. You know me, I can't pronounce names. And Dai, we've got Price, Costa, Eno uh Zyro, that has to be one of the best names in this squad. Absolutely brilliant. We've got Wilson, Marshall, Ronan, uh, Oniange, uh, Hulse, Ofusu Aye, Aye, <laughs> um, Deslandes, Gibbs White, Bennett, Norris, Bergoin, and Ikemi. Uh, I know this guy is a bit of a legend at uh, at Wolves, and I know it'd be it'd be kind of sad if I do choose to to get rid of him because he is such a legend. Um, I believe I might be getting this mixed up, and I really hope I'm not. I'm going to really regret saying this otherwise. But did he not survive cancer? I might be wrong though, so forgive me if I'm wrong. But I know that. Wolves fans love this guy, and I'm going to keep hold of him until he retires, that's for sure. So, 
that's the squad. And now what I'm going to do is show you we are in a pre-season tournament, which is here, the European International Cup. Um, we have Nantes, Getafe and Levante. So two Spanish sides in there. Hopefully we'll be able to win that. I think the prize money was six million, something like that. And talking of money, we have 31 million to spend, which is a really nice amount of money uh, to invest in the squad. But you know how I feel with squads when I get when I first get hold of them. I, I kind of like to to keep them as they are with maybe one or two new signings. I don't want to just completely change the squad. So um, I've added a lot of people to the transfer list, but or the transfer shortlist. Um, basically, a wish list of players that I think I want at some point in this series. Um, and there's a lot of players that you'll recognize from the um, Hansa Rostock career mode. You know, players that haven't had the chance to really show what they've got because I've ended the series early. So Dalot, for example, definitely going to sign him. Portuguese, it makes sense. And he was brilliant in that Hansa Rostock career mode. We've got Cucurella there as well. Um, Undica. Um, is there anyone else I think I added? No. Uh, in terms of strikers, we've got Berreton there. He is very, very quick, strong, six foot one. We've got Paulinha there. Could be a very good midfielder next to Neves at some point. So I'm not saying I want to sign all these players, but I'm definitely looking to get... I think I'm going to go with Ndika and Dalot to start off with. Now, I know they're not exciting signings because I've already signed them before, but I want to, to show you guys what they've got. I've got to finish that off. You know, I've got to get them to their full potential because I would have in the Hansa Rostock career mode. So we'll be able to, uh, to sign these guys really cheap. They've both actually got release clauses, 2 million and 3.6 million. Not so sure if I'm going to go with Cucurella just yet. I don't think I can, actually. He might have recently joined, um, but we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Um, there's also another defender here that I'm interested in, Retsos. We've also got Yedvai, both from Leverkusen. Um, a release clause of 9.5. Looks really decent, actually. Um, so we'll, we'll look into it. There's no real rush to make any signings just yet because the squad is pretty strong. But there is one player that I'm definitely going to be signing right away. Because I feel like centre-backs-wise, we are a little bit weak. I think bringing in Ndika now and training him would be a, a very solid idea. So I'm going to go ahead and approach to buy. Let's see if we can get him for less than his release clause. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. Oh, hang on. Ah, they won't sell him unless I pay the release clause. Well, that's what we're going to have to do then. Two million for Ndika. Why not? We've got 30 million to spend. That is not a big deal. And I think he's around... I think he's mid-60s, if I remember correctly, but we, we trained him so quickly, and uh, I'm going to do that again. He's only 17, so he really is a proper Road to Glory type player, isn't he? So he wants a sporadic squad role. That's absolutely fine by me. And contract length. Let's go with five years. He should be able to sign that up. Wow, okay, he only wants two years. Let's counter four. Let's see. No, okay, we'll try three then. <laughs> It's just uh, knocking down the options. Okay, there we go. Three years, that's not too bad. He wants a release clause. Um, I'm going to deny that because, well, I don't want him being sold, do I? Let's go ahead and do that then. It means that his wages will be a little bit higher, but we can afford any wage pretty much that he's going to want. They're not giving me a, um, a little bit of a steer here. This is going to be interesting. Um, I will try... Because if I don't get him, I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much, but I'm, I'm going to try maybe... I mean, I've got so much, it doesn't matter too much if I go in too high. I'll go for 3,000. I can't remember how much I offered in the Hansa Rostock career mode. 3,000. Okay, that's a fair offer. I'm happy with that. Then 3,000 a week, and we've got ourselves a brand new centre-back. So he will go into... Well, I want to say he'll be on the reserves just for now while we train him up. But to be fair, he is 65 rated. I could probably put him on the bench for now and take out this center back instead bath um because bennett i know he's playing for wolves in real life and he's probably much better than his rating says but at 27 69 rated he's just not going to work out in a road to glory is he so and dicker i'm very happy with that i think the only other signing i really want to make this transfer window is a goalkeeper and i didn't add any to my shortlist so uh, that's something that we're, we're gonna definitely have to improve in so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that um but let's kick off training because i want to get Indica going straight away Remember to uh, to leave your comments, guys, and tell me if there's any players you want me to look at, any players you want me to sell, etc., etc. Uh, okay, let's go do training. Let's put Dicker in straight away because he will be one of my main centre-backs at some point. So 
centre-backs and Dicker. We're going to go ahead and do his defending, of course. That's going to be the first thing we do. Interceptions and marking along with his tackling. Let's go ahead and improve his passing maybe a little bit. Let's see what it's at. Passing. Actually, it's not too bad. 65-61. Could do his dribbling instead. Get his stamina up. Because um, it's only 65. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. And now we'll add some other players. So we've got... I kind of want to focus on players that we've already got at the club. Uh, I just realised we've, we've got Costa. He should probably be in the first team, shouldn't he? Uh, okay, let's do Costa. Is he, he's not loaned, is he? I'm pretty sure he's our player. Um, we'll go ahead and improve his... We probably don't need to do his dribbling. Let's do his shooting, attacking scenarios, and maybe his passing. Yeah, let's do him again. Costa, and let's do passing. Through the gate, 68-67. Not perfect, really, is it? Not great. And then maybe we do Neves, seeing as he's going to be one of the star players. Let's just get him going right away. I'm going to improve his defending to start off with because he, he will be playing a vital role as a box-to-box -box midfielder. So <clears throat> we'll start with that. Wasn't a great start, though, was it? No, nothing more than a C. Um, let's just double-check that he is our player. I don't, I don't want to be training a player that's going to be gone at the end of the season. So let's do overall. He's one of our highest. Uh, Costa. No, nope, he's fine. He is part of the club already. So that's really good. That is very, very good indeed. I was worried for a second that he would be a player that leaves. So what I'll do is put him in now. And Cavalero can maybe actually play up front. I'm thinking maybe instead of Bonatini. No, I'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. It's all good. We've got a strong squad. I really don't feel like I need to do too much right now. Um, but I am thinking already that maybe Indica should be in the first team to, to really improve him fast. Maybe... I'm thinking maybe putting Bolly on the right side and Indica on the left. I think that might be a good shout, you know, and take Miranda out. I might I might give that a go. The reason I've put Indica on the left is because he's left-footed. And I think that obviously makes sense him being on the left side. So we'll go with that. Okay, and now let's get the pre-season tournament underway. Of course, we will be simulating the pre-season tournament, but I won't be simulating any of the league matches, any of the cup matches, you know, things like that. So let's do that now. We've got our first game coming up against Getafe. Hopefully, it's a home game to get us started off. They might just be the strongest squad in the uh, in the competition. I don't know, actually. Will they be higher rated than us? Maybe. Let's go ahead and do another bit of training, seeing as we can. Hopefully this time we'll get a bit better results. Oh, there you go. And Dick has already gone up to 66. Got a B and a C and then a B, C, A. That is much more like it. It's just such a huge difference when your training goes well. So let's get this game underway against Getafe. I've got a feeling we might be able to pick, pick, up, uh, pick up two wins in the first two games and then we won't have to worry too much. We've got a loan offer for Wilson. Uh, to be fair, I might as well. I'm not going to be using him at 57 rated. All right, we'll go ahead and accept that. If it goes through, his wages were a little bit high, actually. Okay, let's see if we can get those two wins straight away. Because if we can, we don't have to worry about the third game too much. It's always good to get your wins straight away. And we're at home, technically. And there you go, a 2-0 win. And Dicker scores on his debut. Cody scores as well. Two defensive players getting the goals there. Two centre-backs. Okay, we'll move on into the next game. We should be able to do a bit more training now as well. Let's see. Uh, three days. Yeah, we will. No, we're going to have to do it after the next game, which is Levante. And there you go. Wilson's loan move rejected because I'm guessing his wages are just too high. It's really quite frustrating, that, isn't it? I've had that problem in every career mode I've done. Um, maybe, maybe at some point they'll be able to look into it. And we've got another win. Neves scored in the 84th minute. And that means we are through to the semi-finals already. That is guaranteed a couple of million. Should be able to see that soon. Um, okay, we've got international management. We're not interested in that. Let's go ahead and get this game underway after this bit of training. Looks like Liverpool made a, a big signing in Nacho Fernandez, was it, from Real Madrid. Fun fact about... Well, not really a fun fact about Nacho Fernandez, but he is actually diabetic, type 1 diabetic. One of the, uh, the best players in the world that's a diabetic. You know, he's, he's playing for Real Madrid, and I know... You, you can easily do things with diabetes, but that's incredible. Being a professional player at the top of his game, absolutely unbelievable. Transfer offer for Zyro. We'll go ahead and block offers. We don't want to sell anyone at this point uh, because I don't know much about them. It might be that they're absolute gems. So let's go ahead and get through to the semi-finals with another win, hopefully. 
Let's see what happens here. Oops, I went into the wrong menu. We should be able to get a win here easily. I think they're the weakest team, so if I don't get a win here, then that does not bode well for the semi-finals coming up. And a 2-1 win, Douglas and Costa scoring. So there you go. Three wins out of three. We are unbeaten so far. What a start to my managerial career at Wolves. That's what it's all about. And um, we've got a lot of scat reports back, so we're going to have to check those. We've got an offer here for, who is that? A goalkeeper, 20 years old, 60 rated. I mean, don't really need to sell him, do I? But then again, I do have four goalkeepers, including two on loan. Okay, I might as well, because I am going to bring in a new goalkeeper. So we'll, we'll accept that. Not too worried about the money we get for him. 1.1 uh, million for getting through to the semi-finals. Very nice indeed. And look at all of these scout reports. Shame I haven't added a goalkeeper yet because then we could see theirs. But it doesn't matter. Plenty of time in the window. And let's go ahead and get into the next game, which is Granada. And technically, again, we are the home side. And Zonzi's moved to Leverkusen. What a signing that is for them. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong buttons here. Let's simulate again. Come on, team. Let's do this. Let's get four wins on the bounce. They lost their last game. And, oh, you're kidding me. We're out in the semi-finals on penalties. Oh, isn't that frustrating? Okay, it doesn't matter. We've, we've got more than enough money. The preseason tournament is just a little bit of an added bonus, isn't it? Let's go ahead and jump into training and do that quickly and see if we get lucky again. Oh, it's pretty poor, but Neves is going to go up to 78 rated. Very, very nice indeed. So I think really, guys, it's goalkeepers. That's what we need to look at next. But what we're going to do is check the results of our scout reports and see how those players are looking. Let's do that now. Transfer hub. We have... Okay, we haven't got his scout report back just yet. Fry is 68 rated. Um, Yedvi is 76. He's going to be way too expensive. So we're going to take him out. Uh, Cucurella. He's actually very cheap, isn't he? And I can sign him now. I had a, why, why did I have a feeling that he was not, uh, he was someone that's just recently joined? I don't know. Dalit, 68 rated. You already know how good he is. Uh, Lato, I like the look of this Lato guy, but that release clause is ridiculous. 18.4 million for a 75 rated player. We've got Rivera there, and we've got Palinia. I think he could be brilliant. And Barreton, I might try and sign him up as well, actually. We are going to need a striker, like a backup striker, so maybe. In the next episode, at least, we'll, we'll make a couple more signings. But let's let's have a little look for some uh, for some goalkeepers now. Well, there is one player that made the headlines a couple of weeks, maybe months ago now, actually, uh, against Manchester United. And I'm very interested to see if I can sign him at some point. But unfortunately, he has recently joined. And he's only 17, so it's not, not a surprise, really. Another choice we've got is Jose Sao. Sa? Um, but a massive release clause, and I'm sure he's worth quite a lot of money but it might it might be worth signing someone that's already of quality you know whereas Villa he's a good player don't get me wrong um he'd go in the first team I think just because we want him to grow as soon as possible and he, he probably is good enough for the championship at least um actually some people think that he's probably good enough for the Premier League already he's a great young player but like I said it might be worth going in for a better player right now um and this this guy it's kind of suiting, isn't it? He's Portuguese. We're wolves. You know, it kind of makes sense. Um, but we're going to scout them. We'll have to wait until um, January either way if we want Svilar. Probably next season, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So at this point, guys, I think I'm going to end the first episode here. Um, I know we haven't done too much, but we've made one signing. We've scouted a bunch of players. We've done the preseason tournament. I've explained the team. There's only one more thing I wanted to do, and that is show you the objectives for our first season. So we'll end the episode here. Uh, youth development is uh, within two seasons, have at least one players from the youth academy signed in the first season, play at least 50% uh, of the games in the next season. Uh, brand exposure, sign one crucial first team player assigned to a midfield or forward position. So it seems like we're going to have to make some changes to the squad and youth academy. Okay, we can do that. No objectives financially, which is obviously good for us. Um, but short-term domestic success is to win the title and to reach the round of 32 stage in the FA Cup. So those are objectives, nothing for Continental, of course. I think, you know, the Youth Academy, I think it's, it's a great thing if you're doing a long series. So this might just be good enough and we might we might be able to do this in this uh, in this career mode. But 
in general, I find the whole Youth Academy thing quite frustrating to use. You're relying on luck a lot of the time to not get low, low work rates, one star skills, one star weak foot. It's, it's a little bit frustrating, but maybe I could try and do the Scout of Future Star again. Um, so just let me know what you think down below. It would take a while to get young players catching up with the current players uh, overall because when you sign a Youth Academy player, they're often between you know, 50, 60 rated. Um, but we can definitely do brand exposure and domestic success. I think we will win the title this season and I think we will do well in the FA Cup. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching episode one. I'm really excited to get this series underway. In the next episode, we'll make a couple more signings. I think a goalkeeper and maybe a striker. Um, and then that'll be it for the, the, the window and we'll get off to a good start hopefully in the league like we did in the pre-season tournament up until the semi-final going out on penalties. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the next episode very soon.